means year two, natural water cycle. Have you ever wondered where the rain comes from? Or how the clouds are formed? Well, this is what the water cycle is all about. So, learning objective for this topic is by the end of the lesson, pupils will be able to arrange in sequence the natural water cycle. Let's start! What is water cycle? Atau dalam bahasa Melayunya, kita rent air semula jadi. The water cycle shows the constant movement of water within the earth and its atmosphere. What is the earth atmosphere? The atmosphere is the layers of cases that surrounds the earth. It keeps us warm, gives us oxygen to breathe, and is where weather happens. Okay, this is the atmosphere, the layer of gases that surround Earth. The water cycle starts from the water from the sea. The sun's heat changes water from the earth ocean into water vapor. So the water from the sea is heat up by the sun and change into water vapor. And then the liquid water turns into an invisible gas or vapor during evaporation. So when the water heat up by the sun, it will turn to the water vapor. The invisible vapor rises into the atmosphere where the air temperature is cold. Water and then water vapor rise into the atmosphere. The cold air causes the water vapor to condense into clouds and water droplets. So number one is water, number two is water vapor, and then the water vapor will become clouds, number three. Okay, the process is condensation. Condensation is what makes of clouds form. After the clouds have formed because of the condensation, they begin to get heavier and heavier with water droplets. When the droplets are heavy enough, they begin to fall from the cloud as a rain. Okay, so just now the first one, water, become the water vapor and then form the cloud and when the cloud uh, begin to get heavier and heavier it will begin to fall as rain okay jadi prosesnya bermula dengan air di laut menjadi uap air dan kemudian membentuk awan dan apabila awan telah berat dia akan turun sebagai hujan Okay, so this is the complete water cycle in the correct sequence. Start with water from the sea, it becomes the water vapor, and then the water vapor forms uh, the clouds, a white, and when the clouds get heavier, it will fall as rain. And then the rain will flow back to the rivers and also to the sea. So this is the complete water cycle. Okay, you can refer your textbook also. Page uh, 108 and 109, 108 and 109. Okay, you can see here. Number one, water. 
steam from the sea, it will evaporate into water vapor and rise up. Okay, dia akan menjadi uap air dan membentuk awan. Water vapor is cool and become water droplets to form the clouds. Okay, uap air menjadi titisan-titisan air dan membentuk awan. Clouds become heavy and fall as a rain. And then the rainwater flows back into rivers and sea. Natural water cycle is a continuous cycle that supplies water to living things and to cool down the earth. Okay, this is a continuous process. Okay, process yang berterusan. Daripada air menjadi wap air, kemudian awan, hujan dan kembali menjadi air semula. Okay. Dan berterusan. Kitar air ini ialah satu proses yang berterusan. A continuous cycle that supply water to living things and to cool down the earth. This is your homework, science activity book, page 68 and 69. Page 68, okay, write the date here. Natural water cycle. Sketch the arrows to show the correct sequence of natural water cycle. So you need to put arrows here. Perlu buat anak panah untuk menunjukkan uh, urutan laluan kitar air yang betul. Okay, where it starts. Okay, you need to sketch the arrows and then fill in the blanks. Okay. So, you see here, this is water, and then this is water vapor, this is uh, clouds, and rain. So, the arrow will start from here. Okay. This is the first arrow, and then from the water vapor, it will form the cloud. And... It will fall as a rain and flows back to the sea. Okay, so this is the arrows. And then, natural water cycle occurs when from rivers and seas become, okay, you need to fill in the blanks here. What are the answers? Natural water cycle occurs when water, okay, the first one, water from rivers and seas become, okay, water will become, what is this? The sun heat up the water and the water will become water vapor. Water vapor is cool and become water droplets and form, okay, this is what happened to the water vapor. They will cool and become water droplets and forms. What is this? Okay, this is clouds. The clouds become too heavy and will fall as rain. Page 69, Sequence of Natural Water Cycle. Fill in the blanks with the correct answers and sketches. Jadi awak perlu isikan kotak-kotak ini dengan jawapan yang betul dan juga lakaran yang betul. Okay. Awak perlu perhatikan arrow di sini, anak panah di sini. Okay, here. Clouds. Okay, and then this is the picture of cloud. Okay, lihat anak panah. Selepas cloud. Apa selepas cloud? Awan. Selepas awan. Okay, when the clouds become heavy, it will fall as rain, right? So the rain will be here and then you need to sketch. Okay, the rain will fall back to the sea. So here, water. Okay, and then the water will heat up by the sun and it will become water vapor.
okay the water vapor will become cloud again and then the cloud will uh, becomes heavy and fall as a rain okay so this is continuous process okay ini ialah proses yang berterusan awak cuma perlu lihat anak panah dia okay urutan yang betul mengikut anak panah Okay, so kids, uh, today you already learn about the natural water cycle and you know how to arrange in sequence the natural water cycle. It start with the water and then water become the water droplets and then the water droplets become the cloud and the cloud will get heavy and fall as a rain and the rain will fall back to the river and also the sea. Okay. This is the continuous process. So that's all about the natural water cycle. See you again in our next lesson. Thank you.